Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another book review. I just read Sonali Dev's A Distant Heart. And of course if you can't tell by the cover, this tale begins and ends in India. And there are two perspectives being told in the story at two different points in time in our characters' lives. And you've got Kimmy and Rahul and there are titular characters. And it's, um, to give away a slight spoiler, it's a love story. And it has a lot of the, the brilliance, the color, the, the vibrance, the passion, the, uh, the emotion, the drama, the, um, the spirit spice of Bollywood. I, actually, I could also say the sensuality of Bollywood as well because there's quite a bit of that. There's sizzle in these pages. Oh boy. Yeah, Sonali has a way with words. I haven't read any of her other books, but she also wrote Bollywood Ride, Bollywood Affair, and A Change of Heart. And Distant Heart is her most recent. And this is actually... Um, Published in 2018. It doesn't say when in pub um, 2018. But it is truly a splendid book. If you're a fan of all things Bollywood, then read it. <laughs> just, just to read words in Hindi and understand what little I do know. I thought, oh, I, I, know, what, I know what a puja is. And I know what beta is. Or who, who, what a, uh, it's an expression, it's, an, it's a term of endearment. Um, of course, I learned something interesting from this book, oddly enough. You know, there's an expression, it's sweat like a pig. It actually comes from the iron pig, which is what they used to smelt on. And it was heated up to such a degree that the iron itself sweated. So, or the iron itself would sweat. And that's why we sweat like pigs. I thought, how fascinating. It's just, it's weird when you come across um, facts in fiction. <laughs> the irony. But it's just such a lively book. And you really want the best for Rahul and Kimmy. And it's just utterly tremendous in the way that Sonali writes about the people, uh, everybody who is involved in this really uncommonly good story. And I'm not going to tell you how it ends because that would ruin the plot. <laughs> so I'll leave it to you to pick this up from your local library because it's certainly worth, well worth your time. And um, most recently, I had to go, you probably saw that on my arm, but I got my blood drawn. Of course, I am slightly afraid of needles. Uh, my veins are terrible to find, and I don't know why. I may be positive, so the donors are always saying, come donate. Well, if you would f freaking find my veins, I would love it. <laughs> it would be so much easier if, if you could just, you know, prick me and get it over with. It sounded kind of dirty. <laughs> Moving on. Anyways, uh, they did a draw for WBC, RBC, A1C, thyroid, cholesterol, and to make sure that my Depakote, that they didn't do a bu uh, bar, but I think that that was put in because it was about five or six vials of sanguinary fluid. I love the sanguinary <laughs> it's just such a wonderful word so exquisite um honestly this phlebotomist that i had she was top notch i highly recommend her she was kind of out of the way but i didn't feel i didn't feel the needle go in i felt nothing I, my arm is fine i had no lightheadedness she actually had a reclining chair for me all was well because last time I had my blood drawn I felt I mean that never happened the last time I that this actually occurred it was with my original doctor last time 
it happened, I, uh, I thought, oh, God, no, <laughs> don't want to go down. No, please don't let this happen. It would be the utter death. Of, well, if it did, I'd probably go, <laughs> isn't that funny? Look at where I am. But <laughs> usually that's what I do because I'd rather add uh, levity to a situation than not. And so what if my ego takes a hit? My ego can take it. But a uh, little bit of sad news. Yesterday I found out that I'm not taking my trip to Israel like I, like I aforementioned. I discovered that waiting for the money from my friend's estate, I, I'm not, even in, if, even indeed if I do receive money from it, it's not like I would get a whole, a whole lot. And he owed a lot from a lot of creditors and, um, seems like he was just really struggling there and I think from what I heard he committed suicide I just thought oh and I just I don't know why but that was one thing that dad and I always thought would happen and to actually have a prediction of ours that accurate come to life frightens me because I knew something bad had happened. I mean, I, I knew he died, but I just, I didn't know the actual cause. I, I never get cause of death right. For grandma, I did when I was 10. I mean, I knew it was aneurysm, even though I didn't know what an aneurysm was. I just thought that she died in her sleep, and she did. It was, that's what happened, and it freaked everybody out. They thought, okay, I'm just going to back away very slowly and not look you directly in the eye <laughs> for fear that I'm the next well, I'm a happy reaper, but when I learned of this news, because I really wanted to go to the Holy Land, it was it was something I was looking forward to immensely. It just, it broke my heart. I, I was actually snot crying for three hours on end, and it was disgusting. I was just a wreck. I was in, almost inconsolable, but uh, I had the help of a lot of friends online that got me over it, and to them I owe a great debt of gratitude a lot of you are actually magicians who have subscribed to the channel and again no amount of words can ever depict my depth of gratitude to you but thank you anyway uh, I'm not really sure what else I'm going to be doing I've, I've been writing quite a bit I've got the Valentine Chimmy and Changa the one after that is the um Sweet 16, actually not Sweet 16, it's the Quinceanera, which is 15, is, um, in Latin America. If you're not familiar with the Quinceanera, it's, uh, you know, like you have uh, Bar Mitzvah and Bat Mitzvah. It's a little bit younger for Jewish children, though, as it's when they're um, coming of age and 12 and 13. That's, yeah, that's really young. The quinceanera is also a really big deal in the Latino community. And the only reason I know is because I have Latino friends. I've never been invited to one. But all my friends are like, come, come to our party. And like, someone say party. I mean, that's me. I think, pre-cake, woo! But, <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those people. But, <laughs> yeah, give me free food. Uh, I'm kind of a low, I'm part of a freeloader. Mm, maybe I shouldn't be. But it, I just, I see an opportunity, I jump on it. But it's actually more than that. It's, it's about socializing. And there are a lot of traditions that go on behind the quinceanera other than just welcoming the girl into the community and acknowledging the fact that she's no longer a little girl, but she's becoming a young woman. And all that, you know, the, the rite of passage, the coming of age, etc. And, uh, yeah, I'm writing about that. And then I'm going to be writing... Um, the last one, which will be called Long Strange, Long Strange Trip, which is based off of one of my favorite bands of all time, Grateful Dead. Uh, yeah, I like the dead. The dead are cool. But, let's see. Other than that, I've been writing quite a few things. I'm, I'm writing an Eros called Symphony Maker. Got one called Conjugal Visits. I'm going to be writing a, a story called The Way of the Hayoka, which... I will be doing research on it since I don't really know that much about Hayoka themselves. And I'm both a, a shaman and a Hayoka. Uh, I'm going to be really humble 
when I write about it because it's, it's something that I don't want to make other people jealous of me. I don't like contentions between people and people just get jealous and ir uh, irritated and annoyed and I don't like doing that. I'd rather be somebody who enlightens and motivates rather than makes people disparate and <laughs> argumentative, I should say. Wait, are you, I didn't say that right. Argumentative. It's argumentative, not argumentative. It's argumentative. That's the right way to say that word. <laughs> I will do this right. Um, what else am I doing? Yeah, I've, I've done quite a few things. I am considering going back to school and going into film school and joining the line of independent film rather than going into Illuminati-laced Hollywood just because I don't want to sell out to that kind of thinking. It's just low vibrational and it's, it's not good. None of it's really... I mean, there are good Illuminati and bad Illuminati. Like, there are good and bad of everything. But I'd rather not get involved with the Illuminati. <laughs> I just don't think it's right. But with that being said, I'm going to stick to independent means when I do go back and... Once that's done, I, I just see myself putting all my money into the projects I have in mind, which I can't mention on camera due to the fact that I think that there are people out there that would want to steal these from me. And uh, eventually I'm going to make these two things a reality. But uh, the two plans I have will be helping the community in and of itself. And it'll start here in Indiana and then move to other states and maybe even across the world but I feel like despite the fact that I don't get to go to the Holy Land I, I'm hoping I get to go next year I'm going to save up so I can go my church is they're whispering about it so I'm thinking please 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 go I want to go I mean, it's, it's once in a lifetime and I want to get baptized in the Jordan uh, but uh, yeah I'm I'm of the Ashkenazic line so I want to figure some of that out and do a little bit of research on that um, <clears throat> that's, that's a very noble heritage. It's kind of ironic because I, I read something on a website that said, oh, we have no claim to the Holy Land. Uh, correction, we were grafted in, actually, so we still are in league with uh, the chosen ones, so to speak. But, uh, let me see. I'm thinking about Arizona. I'm still really considering Arizona. Uh, Power Morphicon is on my list because uh, my friend mentioned something about that. So prayerfully, I'll be able to do that. Um, I really don't have that much else to say other than I'm looking forward to Saturday because I'll be seeing um, Super Troopers 2. And I've... You know, I've been talking about that for years now, and now they're finally coming out, coming out with it, and the trailer looks fantastic. So it's looking really terrific. And that's all i got to say. So until next time, live long prosper. Ciao, tutti.